Hi everyone, right, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, lily, the tiger lily again, because I've got a better angle now, so hopefully you'll be able to see it. I did try using this one, it's too small for me. Uh, the leaves I cut out, or the petals I cut out, are generally that size. What you need then is about two inches of paper, well, thick card to be honest. Just make sure it's level at the bottom, and then just move your scissors and you want this about an it um say any, uh, a centimeter and a half from the widest point you're folding this in half okay it's about an inch and a half wide fold it in half and you need about two inches long and then you cut these just do like a ragged edge to the top like that Like that, okay. Again, just making sure that they're level at that end. And you're just whapping your fingers, uh, fingers, <laughs> moving about the scissors side to side until you get that look. Okay. Again, just to make it even at the bottom. They don't have to be perfect, remember that. I mean, these are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, these flowers. That's all you're doing is just to, because petals are not quite smooth and perfect. That I've gone a little bit too. And you can choose which you want, top or bottom, it doesn't matter. As long as it looks right for you. Now, what you're going to do then, is you're going to start and colour these. And I've got some inks here. And I'm using the mustard seed and the uh, scattered straw. So I'm just going to use the mustard seed first. I can get my sponge. And what I'm going to do is just cut mine in half because I only need one for each. Like that. Take my ink. And we're just colouring them all in. So I just want to see if I can move everything out of the way. And you're completely covering. Um, your petal <laughs> both ways okay might be a little bit too like that, just got that off, doesn't matter
like that and once you've done that then what you need to do is to go over that um, on the edges only so I'm just going to move them out of the way with a slightly darker colour like that I mean I've done these in blues, reds, purples, greens it's you know it's completely up to you and you're only doing one side like this okay and these are absolutely gorgeous gorgeous flowers now, I know my camera's been playing up again and it's been the you know going in and out of focus so I'm hoping to get this done as quick as possible but please try these they are simple to make and you know I always take you through them step by step try and get the edges dark, oops wrong way around try and get the edges dark and do that and then colour them in Once you've done that, then you can go in with your darker pencil, which I'm using the Copic marker, but you can use a uh, ink, any kind of ink pen. <coughs> and you just need to flick in, kind of like some veins type of thing. Like that, okay? Uh, choose what you want the middle of uh, the top or the middle to be. And... They don't have to be perfect at all. We're not after perfection, we're after handcrafted things. So that's what you're going to do and then what you need to do next I, I want to darken this a little bit more so what I'm going to use is the fired brick and I, <laughs> just a touch just a touch to darken it doesn't match about that going over I want the top end of the petal to be Um, nice and dark to the rest of it so you can blend it over just wipe it across like that and you're getting that colour just blend it in Gonna, that's all right. Just gonna darken that one a little bit more. That'll do. That's fine. Quite happy with that. Now what you need to do is um, we're going to glitter them. You take your glitter. I think what I'll do first actually is that I'm going to pop them onto a circle. And I don't want a large one, so I'm just going to hand cut one. You're going to punch, punch it out ready. Like 
mine's like that and what I'm going to do is just start it off like that and pop one of those on there and then because you're doing six petals you're going to need them at an angle like that okay to start with you'll see what I mean in a minute so you've got that okay and then all you do is fill that in like that And there you've got your flower. It's not slaying flat like that, so don't worry about it. We have a few more bits to do to it first. Oh, this glue! <laughs> Let me just move that out of the way. Now what we're going to do is put this um, glitter glue on it. Like that. And just brush that on. Just do a couple at once, and then I have some of this, like uh, the glass. And all I'm going to do is pour some of that into my tray. Take hold of my flower. And just do that with it. Just to give that shimmer. Look at the difference now. Not really done anything to it, have I? Sorry if you're not seeing, I hope you are. Like that. You do have to be careful with this stuff because you want to get it in your fingers. Okay. You could, if you wanted to, if it was easier, make all your petals up glitter them up put on your glitter at this glass stuff and then wait for that to dry before putting it all together but it they don't lay as flat because of the lumpiness of the glass let me get that that way come on woman it is awkward like that and just squash that on And then just move that out of the way, but put that back in the tub as soon as. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Alright, and then while that is still like that, hang on, the computer's going off. Just shape them in the middle like that. And then what you're going to do, oh, not the glue gun, the heat gun. Dry off as much as you can. What we're going to use, we're going to take some of these stamen and we're just going to glue them a little bit into the center. Just hold them there a minute while they dry. I mean, you could do as, uh, as many as you want, but at the moment, I'm just putting a few on. Just put two, you know, like that on each petal. They'll open up in a, when they're dried.
hope you're watching this. Oh, I hope you can see it, should I say. Just do that. Oops. It's because you've got the glass on it, it's, uh, it's got to stick to that as well. Now, just for now, we'll just leave that like that. Uh, and I'm just going to get the... Um, the centres. Now what I'm going to use, oh, um, I think, is what Lee sent me. I've not unpacked it just at the moment, but I do love these. So what I'm going to do is use one of these, not that one. Where is it? Here we go. I'm going to glue one of these on that Lee sent me in the centre to start with. Isn't that stunning? Look at that. And then what you do then is you you have to do some shorter stemmed of these. So I'm just going to cut some pretty short. And then you just glue them in around the edge. Just to fill in some gaps. But you stand them up. Around the edge. Like that. They don't all have to be the same size. Or anything like that. Stand them up a little bit. Some of you will remember me doing this tiger lily, and uh, I loved doing it, I really did. It's such a sweet flower. You can take all the strands off later. <laughs> oh, bloody strands. <laughs> Sorry, but they're a pain in the wazzix. Okay, but you get the idea anyway. So, you've got that. And then all you need to do then is, you do have to be really, really careful, but you can grab the middle now. And you just slightly, you lift, and as you lift, you bend. That's why you've got to do it over some paper where you can get rid of the... So lift them up and bend them. Like that. And then when they're completely dry... You might actually be better off doing it over something a lot broader, like something like, you know, a broad. That's better. Like that. And push them in from the bottom. Oops, I think that's come off again. I'm just going to glue that one back on. That's because I bent it. And glue that one back in. And leave that to dry. And there you go. There's your um, tiger lily. Like I say, get rid of all of this because it is shards of glass. I've got it all over my hands. So I'm going to have to be careful now. Make sure I get it off. I have had a piece of this actually stuck in my hand. And it was painful. But there you go, nice tiger lily. And of course you can add leaves. So I'm just going to get some of mine because I need to get rid of this as well. Make sure I don't feel anything in my hands.
Now I cut all my leaves. I cut them from all sorts. Uh, and so this one's going to be perfect for what I need. And all I'm going to do is just pop some glue on. Pop that under the flower. Push that down. And there you go. You could add another one here and there. I'm just doing that for now. And I think that would look fabulous on any project. So I hope that helps. Please be careful using this because it is glass. And uh, once that's dried, that'll be fine. Spray it with hairspray and that will hold all these shards on. So that's just an idea for you to do that. So I hope you saw that. Hope you liked the uh, tutorial. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.